Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. Now you have got your hands dirty how to create flows. I gave you a very simple example and we went through this Cloudflow designer and created our flow. So once you have got this hands-on experience, let's go ahead and uh, do a quick overview of all the different elements that you see on this Cloudflow designer page here. So as you can see here on the top, there is the name of the flow that you are working on. And if there is no name that you have given to the flow, it will say unsaved here. Then this whole thing that you see all the buttons save, save as run, that is called as the button bar. Then on the left hand side, what you have is the toolbar. This is whole thing is the toolbar and it has these three tabs. One is palette, then the resources and then we have is the explorer tab. And this white screen that you see, it's an empty one, is considered as the canvas. Now let's say you wanted to you have created a flow and you started by dragging the screen element on this canvas now you can use you can provide any name for the screen so let's say i'm just giving the name as screen one and uh, then i'm going to go ahead and hit ok here so now i have created the screen so as you can see here these two buttons got enabled one is the save then if you want to close this close this flow designer then you can click on this button now whatever the changes that you have made if you want to undo those changes there is a button here you can just go ahead and click on it and it will take away those changes if you want to redo whatever you have removed then you can just go ahead and click on this redo button that is next to it and it will show up your changes again so these buttons that you see are very similar to the any desktop application like you have a save save as close copy paste and so on so these are the different buttons that you see up here and they are called as the button bar as well now in order to save this flow you can just go ahead and click on the save button and you can provide the name for your flow let's say and the name for the flow is flow 2 here and then go ahead and click ok so now what you will see here is that the name has been changed from unsaved flow to the flow here so now what is the difference between this save and this save so when you click on the save as as you hover your mouse it says that it's save as a new version or it will save it as a new separate flow if you wanted to go ahead and save it on the current version current version of the flow being edited so basically if you wanted to change save it then you're going to use the save if you wanted to save the current version of the flow as a new version then you can use this save as here so that's the difference between save and save as and on the far right side you see here there's a draft icon that has a it shows you and then it shows you warnings so basically the warnings are whatever the warnings that you have you can click on that warning and it will pop up this message if there is any warnings and since we have these two warnings so that's why they are listed here then this basically represents the what is the status of your flow it is basically saying that hey is it active inactive what the flow is right now so let's say if you go ahead and make this as a starting element and now if you go ahead and hit the save button now at this time you see here the the status has been changed to inactive now okay there has been from the draft mode it has been changed to inactive and now the warnings have also been reduced from two to one because we have one of the warning was there is no starting element for this flow so we made it as a starting element so one of the warning warning got removed so this is what tells you the status of the flow is in and if there is any warnings it will list out here so let's go ahead so this is about the button bar so after this button bar you see there is this toolbar which has three tabs and each of these tabs have a different purpose to help you out in the building of the flows so the first tab that you see is the palette tab then you have is the resources tab and the third one you have is the explorer tab now what is this palette tab the palette tab has different types of elements which you can use to create a flow so if you go ahead and click on this search box it shows you all of these palette elements 
are categorized into these categories draft tools then if you wanted to go for the user interface then we have is the logic then if you wanted to see quick actions static actions so these are the different categories of the different elements that are present under this palette tab